everyone, this is Dr. Rohit Khatavkar. I'm a microendodontist from Mumbai and the founder of Vision Microdentistry Training Academy. My topic for today is going to be about irrigation needles, which needles to use and how to use them in the right way to avoid any irrigant related accidents. So let's get right into it. So I have with me a set of four different types of needles which are routinely used in our clinical practices. Uh, one of them is a pre-sterile, pre-packaged set of needle and syringe. So this has a large bore needle which is about 24 gauge and it's a beveled needle. The second one is the typical needle that we use for delivering anesthetic solutions. So this is also a beveled needle and it's a 27 gauge needle. The third one that we have is a side vented 30 gauge irrigation needle which is designed specifically for delivering irrigant solutions and the fourth one is one of the newest uh, plastic side vented needles available from Densply called as a true anatomy needle. So let's have a look at all four of these and see how they are different from each other in terms of use as uh, a one of the most important tips that I would like to give you when we are using any needle as a irrigant delivery system is to always use a rubber stopper okay so we have all our four needles over here which have rubber stoppers on them and let's look what happens when you use them clinically on a very simple case like this maxillary central incisor now when you use a large bore needle like this for the central incisor you can see that the needle is barely reaching the middle third after which the needle actually gets stuck inside the canal now what this means is that there is only one escape way for the irrigants that are being delivered in the canal this way that is the irrigant will pass through the rest of the canal and will get ex expelled out of the apex so this can be very dangerous especially when we are using irrigants like sodium hypochlorite which is the reason why bevel needles are not recommended for use as an irrigant delivery system same thing would happen with our thinner gauge bevel needles wherein when you use them these can probably get delivered slightly more deeper inside the canal probably at the junction of the middle and the apical third but the problem is the same once you reach that point where the needle gets stuck or locked the irrigant gets delivered right out of the apex so this is the reason why you have needles like these which are side vented needles so you have a single or a double side vented needle you can use either of them depending on your preference one of the disadvantage of the double side vent needle is that the junction of the double side vents is usually very thin which can be a spot where the needle can sometimes break or kink so that's why use of a single side vent needle is preferable to avoid these kind of accidents. Now when we use these double side vented or single side vented metallic needles, you will notice that these needles can reach up to a certain level. Usually in straight canals, you will find them that they can easily reach till the apical third. But the moment there is a slight curvature or a narrow canal, definitely these needles have a area where they will get stuck or they will bind in the canal space. So in this situation again you will have two problems either your irrigants will not get delivered close to the apex because there is a curvature or if the needle gets bound again you will have the same kind of problem you had with your side uh, with your bevel needles that is the side vented needle can also turn into a dangerous delivery system and can force the irrigants out of the apex if you end up applying too much amount of pressure. So this is the reason we have a fourth type of delivery system that is a plastic double side vented needle. Now the advantages of this kind of needle are many. One of which is the fact that it delivers the irrigants in a curved canal as well. So if you have a canal which is curved at 90 degrees, in that case too the irrigant will be easily delivered as close to the apical third as possible. Plus these needles are having a taper which would correspond to the taper of the canal. So this allows the irrigant 
to be delivered more easily and they also have an inbuilt marking over here just like the markings we have on our files so just like my recommendation for using our rubber stoppers we can also refer to these uh, markings which are there on the surface of the needle and you can see that the needle gets delivered or the needle passes easily till the apical third with less or no amount of resistance even in curved canals so this was about your irrigant needles and the various ways you can deliver your hypochlorite or edta to the apex so i hope you found this video useful on the various irrigant delivery needles and their advantages and disadvantages if you still have any doubts please please feel free to write down in the comment section below and uh, please do follow us for regular videos and updates thank you have a nice day